Hi, I'm here today to talk about the three stages of treatment in the Ridgeway method. They are diagnosis phase, which is early on in the process, and then the fix phase where we work towards getting your good result. And finally, the tune-up phase, which some people choose to take on, and we also call that the prevention and optimization phase. So above those three phases, we have the main steps in the Ridgeway process. So early on in the diagnosis phase, we're trying to get an idea about what the main presenting issue is. And a very effective way of doing that is trying to understand what is the good result that our client is after. Now, the good result is going to vary from person to person, and I think there's a very big emotional component to that as well. So we try and be very thorough in finding out what is driving their desire to attend physio, to get better, and to achieve their good result, and we record that. So once we know what the good result is, we know where we're heading, and we can always refer back to that in the process of our treatment. We also try and find good, objective, measurable tests. How long people can sit for, walk for, what activities aggravate their pain. And we always go back to that as well as an objective measure of progress with treatment. We use key movement tests that we measure before and after treatment and use those to actually measure progress using a progress graph. And also, we will then continue our assessment to look at the whole body. We'll first of all look at the key areas around where the pain is, and sometimes the pain might be in many different areas. So that really suits our whole body approach. We'll find those dysfunctional structures, whether they be muscle, joint, or nerve, and treat those until we see a change. Some interventions will make a difference to the key movement tests that we choose. Some will not. And we think that those interventions that make a difference are related to the condition. And through the process of the whole body assessment, we will find out which areas we need to go back and treat and find which areas are related to the presenting condition. All the while, we're starting an exercise program to get moving uh, and to actually manage loading through the body. Once we find which interventions are worthwhile and effective, we then narrow down to find what are the primary and secondary contributors that still continue to make change to the objective testing. Once we've got through that and we know what areas that we have to treat that are continually making improvement, we move to the second phase, which is the fixed phase, where we continue to treat those areas and start to add exercise to both manage loading through the injured area and loading to those contributors. So we both want to manage load and decrease, but also improve capacity to take load. So you can stand longer, sit, bend, and lift. And that's a very important part of reducing the pain and improving tolerance to these areas. We also progress the exercises over time until we get to the good result. And because we've established that early, we know where we're heading. And once we get to that good result where you're moving better, feeling less pain, and getting back to the things you used to do, we have a discussion about how to stay that way. And that's where the third phase comes in, which we call the tune-ups or prevention and optimization phase. In this phase, and people can choose to take this on, and I think it's a really great intervention to keep you well. 
So what happens is people turn up, they've, they've already done quite well with treatment, but we go back and look at their key movements and their key uh, contributors and make sure we keep them under control. So we don't get this exacerbation of pain or acute onset of pain. And so we're using objective testing and treatment to keep you well. And the frequency of the treatment really depends on how you maintain your signs. So some people we treat every four weeks, some people could be as long as 12 weeks. But the key thing in the POPs or the tune-ups are to keep the neural testing clear, manage any of the contributing factors and also any niggles that may come up over time. So basically that's where we go with Ridgeway. We find it an extremely effective and useful way of treating and it really promotes understanding. So people we treat understand what are the areas that are going to give them pain and how to manage them best. Hope you got some value out of that. We'll talk soon.